It's a beautiful Sunday morning in Austell, Georgia. We're back at Six Flags over Georgia. Currently about 46 degrees out right now, but heading up to 73. So it's a thing of, do I freeze for a little bit now? Or do I wear a jacket now and then die later? Now look at this baby. I love this ride. Park doesn't open for a bit. We got a line forming out here already. Made our way through security. Now up to ticket scanning. And we've made it in. Tweety up ahead. Now the park technically does not open for another 25 minutes. They have a character out here and you can go to the left or to the right. Let's get some Tweety action in here. We've got our Tweety picture. Now head over to Twisted Cyclone. Now there is no filming on the ride, so we'll meet you at the exit. Well, that's awesome. Able to get on Twisted Cyclone technically before the park opens. I think on the flip side, you can get onto Georgia Scorcher before the park opens as well. Before we make the long walk up the hill, we'll go check out some of the stuff that's in the main merchandise store. Capes with puffy stuff on it. Oh, you can get an actual Robin shirt. And they've got multiple characters. That is awesome. Jackets. Foghorn, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. Looney Tunes characters. This is Mary's favorite character. They should have him out for meet and greets. Oh, he's got his own shirt. What? Flash is getting some love now. Oh, I like this too. All right, back outside the store. And by the way, the fountain's clear again. No longer running blood. It's not Halloween. And the first walk up the big hill. And Georgia Scorcher is open, as I thought. So you can get on two coasters prior to the park opening. Look how fast that plane is going. And if you don't go on either of these coasters when the park isn't officially open yet, you can't go beyond here because there's security in a holding area. But why would you want to go past these coasters? Literally no line. And again, no filming on the rides. Uh, and if you want to take your phone on, it's kind of at your own risk because things fly out of pockets all the time here. They have pay lockers at each of the coasters. Georgia Scorch are going by below. It's a little after 10.30 and the park is officially open now. Head on back to Gotham first. It's always funny not seeing stuff out here for Halloween. This is usually one of the scare zones. Coming this summer, Bruise and Bites. So Six Flags getting in on the drink around the park and eat around the park type stuff that's pretty much everywhere now. Disney Parks, Universal, Busch Gardens, SeaWorld. Now Six Flags. Daredevil Dive Coaster. get on it later. It's super buttery smooth, but very, very quick. Main goal today, like most other trips that we make here, DC Universe stuff. They still have the Riddler question marks up here from last year when they released the Mindbender revamp. 
we're gonna head into Gotham City. The music has changed. And I love this reveal. Joker coaster running today. Last couple times we were here, this wasn't working. Swing's not moving yet. It's Catwoman. So I don't know if the swings are gonna be working, but I love the artwork. Got a food truck set up here for the egg roll boys. And right behind the egg rolls is Axis Chemical. Used for their Halloween events sometimes. Again, love the theming here. We've got Poison Ivy Toxic Spin, which is open right now, so we have to grab a ride on here. Used to have the Batmobile right over here. Take a ride. A little scrambler in the morning. See how the coffee stays down. Articles before you leave. And it's over. A few service of my friends are right. Mind benders. Have a nice day. How are we going to take their advice? Let's do a little mind bender. And this has a landmark plaque. awesome Catwoman whip that's not happening for me today that was a one and done we did that once in the park I'm not doing that again in the background Batman we'll get on that next Batman it is this is my second favorite coaster in the park Lockers again before you can get on the ride. And no gum spitting, huh? Batman Coaster was awesome, as always. Just love it. But also, off to the right of the Catwoman, you can see the Batman Stunt Show garage still out there. And then you have bathrooms and you have the seating for the Stunt Show. Should really bring that back help keep Gotham City on the right track. The stunt shows were a staple of the Six Flags parks for some time with the popularity of the movies and DC Universe again. They should really do something to get it back on track here. Just like the sign says. You also have Birds of Prey Cafe here and Gotham City Gifts. They really shrunk the DC store down here a bit, but look at this. Riddler King exiting out of the Batman area and again, Another giant hill to walk up. And one of the other stores, they got a bunch of Jeep stuff for some reason. Love and horror stuff that uh, has nothing to do with Six Flags or Warner Brothers. That's really kind of funny. Giant Michael Myers pops. All right, coming up on Goliath. Doesn't look like there's a line back here either. Goliath, getting ready to take off. All right, now, finally, stomach is a little uneasy. So, perfect timing for one of the best dark rides around anywhere. A little Monster Mansion action. And the line doesn't seem so bad. I love this freaking ride.
Words can't explain how much I love that ride. And I think we have 30 minutes before characters come out around the Looney Tunes area. All right, so by Boomtown, we'll look for a drink and a snack. So one quick service, sports bar-y type place, not open yet, because they're down bodies. Not enough to get open in time. Strutter's not open yet either. And the same with Dippin' Dots. No big deal, the membership lounge is open, so you get a free cup and free drinks all year as long as you bring your cup back so back in the tune area see the mine train going in the background there not very crowded at all over here at this point stage is open tweety's tweet house doesn't seem to be working acme trucking company 68 percent on time deliveries ride for kids. Speedy Gonzalez speed boats. Close. Daffy Duck bucket blasters is open. You can get wet. Well, as far as characters coming up, Tweety's out again. There could be others coming out throughout the day. As for us, we're heading back to the back part of the park, past the little Super Friends. Another awesome area for kids. Batcopters, the Joker's Fun House, little roller coaster, Wonder Woman swing ride. Joker's Fun House is awesome. It's just a very long wait, even when there's not a lot of people in line. And there it goes. this little Superman drop tower. Wonder Woman swings in action. And then we get to head down one of these ridiculous hills, probably the worst in the park. But going down is a lot better than coming back up. We'll make our way over towards Pandemonium. And we have go-karts back here as well. It's an upcharge. Pandemonium I've been on before. I'm not going on it today. Pandemonium is one of those rides that I do not feel safe on. And there was a video leaked or out there on the web of a similar ride kind of coming apart at one point last year, which really kind of put the nail in the coffin for me going back on this. So Pandemonium also right now experiencing technical difficulties. One more reason for me to really kind of gut check going on this. And there goes the train. We'll get on that in a little bit. It's the Scream Punk District. We're working on the show. We've seen this a bunch of times. It's really fun. I like this ride a lot, but it is really rough. And away we go. Looks like Great American Scream Machine is not running today, which is a bummer. That is probably the roughest ride 
in any theme park going right now, but I love it. Instead, we'll get a little Hall of Justice battle for Metropolis. I love this ride so much. Better than Men in Black, in my opinion. Driving a crazy black. I have an inoculate. You'll have to act fast. Don't worry. We'll inoculate you before we send you out to the streets. Sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Joker. Fellow citizens of Metropolis, the truth is that we are taking the Justice League off the streets and into custody with very good reason. For years now, they have become lawless vigilantes with no regard for the safety of Metropolis or its inhabitants. <laughs> Get him, boys! Ooh, you bad man! Oh, man, I'm here! Follow me! <laughs> I got smoked by some little kid's mom. She was the best in the car. She totally blew me away. Back to the hills. So you got the old time cars, the balloons, and the carousel up ahead. I think we're skipping these this time. And this just keeps sitting here year after year. Seems like a waste of space at this point. The train is in the station. Oh God, it's like running for the Staten Island Ferry. They call me the Texas, I'm the train engine that goes here to get on the train around this this train has been in place since 
here this morning. Heading back towards the front of the park. Look at this. this crossway here. Seems newly painted. Alright, Six Flags. We're getting out of here. Oh my. Well, I would say it's a super quick trip out to Six Flags, but honestly, I got so much stuff this morning before anybody else was here. I know a lot of people like to sleep in, but 10.30 park open, which technically 10 o'clock, the gates open for people to get on the first two coasters. And we'll scout out some food outside of the park. The food offerings at Six Flags over Georgia are not that fantastic to begin with. If there's one drawback, it's definitely the food. But as far as theme parks go, affordability-wise, fun factor-wise, thrill factor-wise, Six Flags really has an edge over a lot of the competition. I know, like, if you like coasters and you're in Florida, generally, like, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, kind of the place to be. Although Universal really kind of catching up with Velocicoaster, but here, tons of roller coasters. There's tons of stuff for kids. There's a couple dark rides or flat rides also. So a lot of stuff to soak up crowds and to take in people of all kinds of interest. The last time that we were at Six Flags was during Fright Fest and it was not that great of an experience to just be completely fair. That night there was questions whether there were gunshots in the parking lot or not as well. It turned out that it supposedly it was a car backing up. So your mileage may vary with the experience that you have overall, but Fright Fest um, tends to bring in much more dense crowds. It's packed uh, and it's not people that are generally just here to look to try to get on the rides and have some fun. But I know we're getting out of here, so thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.